Hello guys, I welcome all of you to today's farmcast. Uh, guys, I'll be discussing today another uh, five drugs of choice and uh, as always I'll discuss one of your doubts or concerns related to preparation. So uh, in my when I posted my last farmcast, uh, a lot of students they had asked me one common concern that is how to use the pearls as well as the bookmarked questions effectively during revision. So I'll discuss that at last guys. Let us straight away begin with our first condition today for which we need to understand the drug of choice and it is chlamydia. So guys all of you know chlamydia can cause UTI, urinary tract infection and uh, currently guys the see, there is no single drug of choice for chlamydia UTI. The reason being see the UTI caused by chlamydia can be either uncomplicated or complicated right. If it is a case of uncomplicated UTI that means it causes either urethritis or cervicitis in females. So in case of uncomplicated, the preferred drug is azithromycin 1 gram single dose directly observed. Mark this point guys, this will be asked in your upcoming exams, which means what? You need to give the drug in front of you or a health worker. So why we are doing this, that is to to you know uh, to prevent in compliance so some patients they might not take the drug so and they will keep on spreading the infection so we do not want to take a chance so guys if it is uncomplicated one azithromycin one gram single dose obviously the alternative is doxycycline right but that needs to be given seven days so azithromycin is preferred here but if you come to the second part if it is a case of complicated uti caused by chlamydia for example, proctitis or epididymitis. In that case, number one, the first thing you need to understand is we treat or we give drugs which is which is not only effective against chlamydia but also effective against gonorrhea, right? Because they can be frequently uh, associated with each other, and gonorrhea quite frequently causes proctitis, epididymitis. So that is the reason why here we need to combine one drug that is active against chlamydia and the preferred drug here is doxycycline so guys doxycycline is the drug of choice for complicated uti caused by chlamydia now think which is the drug i must combine here which is active against gonorrhea in other words it is the drug of choice for gonorrhea think guys think which is the drug of choice for gonorrhea hmm? it's a beta lactam drug ceftriaxone so guys all in all remember uncomplicated uti caused by chlamydia single dose one gram azithromycin directly observed right complicated uti give doxycycline plus ceftriaxone that's all guys second one chronic chf guys chronic chf all of you know right that we need to decrease mortality in chronic chf and to decrease mortality in chronic chf which is the first class of drug we we usually start the patient on now this is what uh, mostly they ask in USMLE and they can ask in our exams as well which is the first class of drug they start the patient on in case of chronic CHF think I'll give you two options is it ACE inhibitor or is it beta blocker what do you think guys it is ACE inhibitor or ARB means RAS inhibitors are the first class of drugs which are started in a patient of chronic CHF and remember if if RAS inhibitors are well tolerated I mean if there is no severe cough if there is no angioedema in that case we'll switch we'll switch to a combination of sacubitril plus valsartan sacubitril all of you know how does it act guys sacubitril has been asked in jipmer once sacubitril is an inhibitor of neutral endopeptidase so it increases bnp brain natriuretic peptide and sacubitril is combined with valsartan so this is the preferred one but we use this once the patient is able to tolerate ACE inhibitor and ARBs, right? The reason being sacubitril can also cause angioedema. And that is the reason why we use only if the patient is able to tolerate ACE inhibitor ARB. And after that, we also start the patient on beta blocker. So overall, for a patient on chronic CHF, now the first line, first line drugs where the patient would be on is sacubitril plus valsartan plus beta blocker. So that's the minimum, basic bare minimum of chronic CHF. You must remember and for symptomatic therapy that is symptom of uh, for treatment of symptom of congestion in chronic chf we use digoxin so guys remember digoxin is never used in acute chf it is only used in chronic chf right let us move on to our next 
disorder for today and that is chylomicronemia syndrome guys chylomicronemia syndrome think what is the drug of choice is it statins is it bilateral binding resin is it fibrates think guys think which one is the drug of choice guys the drug of choice is fibrates now let me tell you the mechanism of action of fibrates because some students they asked me to discuss uh, in farmcast uh, some mechanism of action as well so guys i'll do that as well so whatever you ask me to do i am at your service right so drug of choice uh, are fibrates and fibrates their mechanism of action is stimulation of ppar alpha paroxysmal proliferator of activated receptor alpha and stimulation of these receptors what it does it increases production of lipoprotein lipase right in the endothelium of capillaries and because of which what happens an increase in lipoprotein lipase will decrease two things in your plasma one is triglyceride another one is chylomicrons and that is why for both chylomicronemia syndrome as well as hypertriglyceridemia the drug of choice are the drug of choice are fibrates remember guys fibrates and with fibrates one important side effect they ask you one important side effect of fibrates is gallstones gallstones that is the most commonly asked mcq on the side effect of fibrates moving on to the fourth disorder for today guys it is chylothorax and chylothorax you must have studied about this condition in surgery and uh, for this apart from non drug management medical management we also use a drug in chylothorax so they can ask you which drug is used in chylothorax so you know what happens in chylothorax right accumulation of chyle in the pleural space and the cause is either surgical trauma or malignancy can also cause now guys here the drug that is preferred in chylothorax is octreotide and how does it act so you know right guys octreotide can decrease secretion of of a lot of things right and it can also decrease secretion or production of chyle that is how it can be effective for palliative management in chylothorax now guys we have come to the last disorder for today and that is cll chronic lymphocytic leukemia guys in chronic lymphocytic leukemia we use a regimen now think guys what is the regimen of choice the regimen of choice in chronic lymphocytic leukemia is called as fcr fcr f for fludarabine c for cyclophosphamide r for rituximab so fcr is a regimen that is used for cll chronic lymphocytic leukemia now can you think of any other neoplasia where fcr is again the regimen of choice think now it is not far away from leukemia because it is a lymphoma so guys it, it is in non hodgkins lymphoma in non hodgkins lymphoma uh, which is a low grade non hodgkins lymphoma we can also use fcr so guys that's all with regards to drug of choice for today that we had to discuss now i have come to the last part of farmcast where i'll be discussing how to use effectively the pearls and the bookmarked questions right um so guys remember here first thing is uh, i'll separate both of these first of all let us talk about pearls now if you if you have looked at the pearls if you have gone through the pearls what are pearls pearls are nothing but they are the consolidated version of you know whatever matter we study which are present in the digital form in the app so it is exactly similar to what i said earlier that uh, you make small or short notes of yourself so that you can revise them effectively in the last 15 days of exam when, where you don't have much time to revise the entire uh, notes so if you don't have time to make those small notes which i said then you can substitute them with the pearls right you can also effectively revise only pearls in those last 15 days with addition to some important part of your notes as well if you want to do that so there is one thing you can do guys though i i always like uh, tailor made uh, notes of uh, my own right that which, which i have made but now it is guys you know this is the world of technology so you can replace that handmade notes with uh, your pearls for the last 15 days which i said in my last farm cast now coming to bookmarked questions so guys remember while you are revising while you are revising do not think that you need to revise only theory you need to practice mcqs daily why because at the end of the day your exam is mcq based so you need to keep practicing at least for 2 to 3 hours daily 
even during revision guys so do not uh, lose the habit of practicing uh, practicing mcqs during your revision period you still need it to continue now what is the best thing to practice because you you, you must have practiced the whole q bank right so you don't have now during the time of revision to again practice the whole q bank so what do you need to do you need to focus on those questions which you had been getting wrong despite repeated attempts and those are your bookmark questions so what is the best way right what is the best thing to do here is to go for only those questions which you have bookmarked and you can practice them again while you are solving and now see for yourself when you are revising right suppose i have revise the topic i will revise the topic and now i will again go and try to attempt those bookmark question and see if i'm able to solve them now and there might be another perspective to which which, which i can learn now because you see what happens is when you're solving the mcq through the first time you might not remember a lot of things from your theory because you have just uh, gave it one shot you have just studied it once but you have not yet revised but now once you're revising it see what revision does is it puts things in place quite nicely right in revision so your eff efficiency it increases quite a lot after your first revision and after second revision you become invincible basically so guys that is what you can do your bookmark questions and uh, you can uh, that is the best way to use that bookmark question so guys i hope i have cleared your doubt here how to use these uh, pearls and bookmark questions and uh, that's all for today guys uh, if you have any such kind of doubts or uh, any query that is related to your preparation and if you are a student who is going to appear for the coming uh, neat exam then you can always uh, comment on the comment box and i will try to incorporate your doubt in my next any one of my next farm cast guys so that's all for today guys take care bye bye this was dr ranjan with you